Hi everyone, this is Peggy. Welcome to my channel. As you can see, I've been very busy working on Halloween journals, little uh, small Halloween journals, one signature. And these I made for table mates. I'm getting ready to go to a retreat. And also the instructors that are teaching the projects while we're at the retreat. So every single one, um, they're all similar, but different. I use different material for the covers on all of these. So I'm going to walk through one for you. And my inspiration for these came from Anna's Chateau on YouTube. And I'll link her channel down in the description box below. So these are made with a six by nine envelope, folded in half. I covered the outside with material and the inside is paper and I have sewn on the inside the whole way around the journal. This is um, seam binding that I've dyed. And I'm just going to slide this down and not untie it. So on the front cover, we have a journaling card from one of the collections. And I used, I think, three different collections. Um, Halloween Town and Bewitched from Echo Park and also Authentique's Twilight, I believe. So the this is some... Um, um, eyelash trim from Hobby Lobby and these little buttons are from buttons galore and more that I got through Country Craft Creations on the front each one has a little bit of this spiderweb tool from Dollar Tree it's probably kind of hard to see in this one the bead dangle I made this is dyed seam binding Halloween colors and cute little uh, candy corn beads and some other Halloween themed. There's one signature. I may have already said that. And on the dangles, I put a little pumpkin and a coordinating bead. So on the inside, the front cover has a pocket. There's a little journaling card, a tag that I cut out on the Cricut and just add a little ribbon at the top and an index card. This is some of the designer paper. A little fold out. You can actually dot, um, die. You can glue the sides of this and make it a pocket if you want. Then I had a couple of magazines that I took some of the pages out that were kind of Halloween. This is some green dyed paper, uh, delusion stamp. It's a piece of that spiderweb tool. A little piece of um, paper, lined paper with a Tim Holtz stamp. Another piece of designer paper that folds out. This is some sorry silk that I had in my stash. So I put a, uh, sewed a little ruffle on to some coffee dyed paper. Another paper with a Tim Holtz stamp. And this is just some plain paper. This is um, ledger and graph paper, a little fold out. You could also make that a tuck spot or a pocket. This is some parchment paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. A Halloween bag. And tucked inside is a tag with the trick or treat stamp on it. And some more of the eyelash trim. This is some designer paper that was folded in half and folded up to make the pocket. And there's a little cut apart inside this pocket. 
another magazine page. The side of the pocket has a tag. The other side of the bag has a little cut apart with a cute little spider. If you like spiders. On this piece of the parchment paper, I stenciled the bats using a Tim Holtz stencil. The other side of the graph paper and ledger paper. And this is some sequin trim that I just used some um, Fabri-Tac and attached to the page. Little sticker. A delusion stamp spiderweb border. The other side of the designer paper. Another Tim Holtz stamp. The tool. It's nice and shiny on one side. Tim Holtz stamp. And the magazine page. And this one, I think I actually glued this one down to make a pocket, but I didn't put anything in there. And then the back page mimics the first page with an index card and a tag and a journaling card. So that's my little journals. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will add a hashtag for this to Sandy's 13 Frights Before Halloween 2022. Have a great day. Thanks.